Hope you enjoyed that little skit in the beginning. That video won me a YouTube contest a while back. Before you ask, that was actually made using Final Cut Express, not iMovie, because it had more special effects like the shell casing and the bullet hole and uh, the glass breaking. But the cloning special effect is able to be done in iMovie. And I'm here to tell you how to do the cloning special effect in iMovie. To do the cloning special effect, you need a few things. Number one, your room cannot change a lot. And number two, you can't wear green or blue. Just keep it as clean as you can. And number three, tripod. You're going to need a tripod. If you don't have a tripod, maybe you have like a ladder or something that you can set down the camera and make sure that that camera doesn't move. If your scenery at all changes, the effect will be lost. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mimic the whole thing here in iMovie. And I'm going to show you how we get to this step. First of all, we need our footage. This is all one long take. As you can see, I stand in place, do the acting of both personalities. So it's all one long take. So I'm going to start a new project quick. You go File, New Project. Don't need a theme, just hit Create. And also before we get started, make sure the advanced tools are checked. So go iMovie, click on Preferences. Go to the General tab and make sure the Show Advanced Tools box is checked. Now we grab our footage. Now you can add the footage either way you want. You can add the right side of the screen first or the left side of the screen first. Sometimes it might look better one way or the other. But pick your favorite. So I'm going to highlight this chunk. Grab it and drop it in place. Now we need the other chunk. So now I have that chunk highlighted. Grab it. Bring it to the front. Let go of the mouse and hit either green screen or blue screen. I'm going to go blue screen. It'll take the computer a moment as it tries to figure out what is blue and what to crop out and whatnot. But since there's no blue or green in the screen at all, it'll just show my footage on top. So what I'm going to do now is click on my top layer. And on the side here, it's going to say cropped. Click on cropped. And we are going to take these little dots and move them to the appropriate locations. Since I want the plunger on the left side, I'm going to make sure the circles are highlighting that side of the screen. Now to make a more fluid cut, I'm going to line up the vertical lines with the vertical line on the door. As you can see, here is the door, and I'm doing my best to line up the line with that. Once I have it cropped the way I want, click Done. The tricky part is going to be lining up the segments. If you weren't satisfied with the lining up, you can always grab the left border and shrink that to one side and move the other borders around. Just make sure you have the lining up as good as you can. And after a lot of patience and detailed work, messing around with the borders, sliding the green screen segment around, Making everything line up, you can see the final product. Our arms extend at the same time, and I react perfectly to the action going on on the screen. Now I chose blue screen. Blue screen is available in iMovie 11, not iMovie 09. You can use green screen just fine. The reason why I went with blue screen is there's absolutely no blue on my footage so iMovie will never get it confused 
Now you might argue that there isn't any green on my screen as well. You are correct, however, iMovie sometimes consider different tints and shades of yellow as green. And since this bathroom is mostly yellow thanks to the lighting, I did not want to risk it so I just went straight up blue screen. So the cloning special effect, I really enjoy doing this, I'm a huge fan of cloning. So I highly recommend trying to have some fun with the cloning special effect. Maybe you argue with yourself, maybe you kind of play rock, paper, scissors with yourself, or I don't know, play a board game, something like that. Just, I really recommend giving this cloning a try. You can learn a lot about your camera, your lighting, um, different secrets iMovie can have. And it'll teach you a little bit about patience and lining up everything. And it's important to build up patience when doing precision editing for any lengthy amount of time. So I really hope you guys give this cloning technique a try and have fun making movies. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.